Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stella Rose and today I am going to be filming my first declutter for 2021. I know that I had filmed a declutter series back last year. However, this one is going to be a little different. It's going to be probably a pretty long video, so make sure you grab a snack and uh, sit back and relax. But this one is gonna be my entire makeup collection declutter, so. I wanted to get rid of some of the th these items that I know I'm not going to be using, that I'm not going to be wanting to use, and things that just don't work for me anymore. So um, let's go ahead and get right into the lipsticks. So I have this basket of lipsticks. Um, the first one I'm so sad to part with because this is just so beautiful, but I just don't see myself wearing this color. It is a bright pink lippy. I've used it a couple of times. I've worn it a couple of times. I just, I don't reach for it. And as much as this packaging is just so gorgeous and I want to keep it just for the packaging, I don't want to keep it just for the packaging. So, um, I'm going to declutter that. The next thing is this Too Faced lip gloss. This is in, um, the shade Two Night Stand and it is a pretty pink lip gloss. I just, I don't reach for pink lip glosses, so I'm decluttering that. The next thing I have is a lip balm, and this is in the shade Hannah from Brooke USA. It looks like this, and it just goes on like a regular lip balm. It just has a little tint to it, but I don't really use tinted lip balm, so I'm decluttering that. The next thing I have, I wore on my mouth the other day, and it just was too blue for me. Um, it looks like this, it's, it looks black, but when you put it on, it is a blue, a dark blue, and I'd prefer a black. This is in the shade either Mademoiselle or Clap Back. I'm not sure, but this is a Fenty Plush Matte Lipstick. I like the formula. The formula is really good, but I just don't like the color. The next thing I have is from Bite Beauty. These are two lippy sticks. And this is the matte cream lip crayon. This one's in the shade Truffle, and this one is in the shade Frage. And they are a dark purple and then a bright red or a burgundy red. And I'm decluttering both of those because I just don't like the colors. I won't wear them. Same thing for this one. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And this one is a nice brown color. It's the shade Fighter. And again, I just don't like the color. I swatched it the other day and I was like, I'm never gonna wear this. I need to pass it on to somebody who um, really, really loves this. The next thing I have is from ColourPop. This is just a tint. Again, I just don't do tinted things. Um, I, it looks like this and it also, I don't like the smell of it. It smells like peaches and I don't like fake peach scents. Um, so I am decluttering that. The next thing I have is a nourishing lip crayon from Hard Candy. It has coconut and hemp oil in it, and it looks like this. It's basically just like the last thing. Um, I just, I'm not reaching for it, so I'm going to declutter it. This is a little weird. I'm not sure. This is from Complex Culture. It's Mauve Nude. Um, this is like a lip stain, and I don't ever wear lip stains. And I just, I don't like the formulation of it. If, if that's what lip stains are supposed to be, I don't want a lip stain. Um, so I'm decluttering that. The next thing I have is from um, Milani. This is the Ludicrous Lights Lip Gloss. And this has a blue hue to it. And I think I'm going to give this to my daughter because she's obsessed with this one. She wants to put it on all the time. And um, I just don't wear blue tinted lip glosses. So there's that. Oh. It looks like I decluttered all of my Bite Beauty ones. This one's also in the shade Red Velvet. This one's a nice pretty red as well. I just, I never reach for it and I'm not gonna wear it. The next thing I have is from Kylie. This is uh, the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Heat or Velvet. I'm not sure which one. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it's just a more of a orangey brown and I don't wear those kind of, of colors. So again, that one's just color wise. The next thing I have is from ColourPop. It's the Ultra Lip Gloss, Gloss, Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Crazy Little Wing. And um, I love the smell of it. It smells like cupcakes and everything. 
smells so good, but I just, I don't, I don't like this color, um, color thing for me. Um, last but not least for lips, I have this Lime Crine in the shade Marshmallow, and I just don't like the formulation. Um, it's a little too runny for me. I love the color. The color is amazing. I wish it had a different formulation, so, um, but I really like that color. I just don't like how liquidy it is, and it smears too easy. For um, face palettes, I have my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It has a bronzer, blush, and a highlight. I'm just not reaching for it. I feel like some of it has hard panned, and it feels a little old um, when I use it, so I'm decluttering that. Next, I have Wonder Beauty Trip for Two. This is a blush and a bronzer duo, and I used this, but I just, I'm not reaching for it anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it along to somebody who might use it more than I do. For blush, I have quite a few things, and surprisingly, I am getting rid of my NARS Orgasm. I do feel like it has hard panned on me, though. Um, it's got some texturizing on the top, and I'd rather repurchase this and try it out again because I love the color. The color's amazing. I just, I think it's hard panned, and I just, I can't use it anymore. The next thing I have, surprisingly, is my Marc Jacobs Air Blush in the shade Lush and Libido. I feel like this is just too much of a pink color for me, pink and purple. It's just too bright. I need a more nude color, and um, I am getting rid of that. So I just don't like it for the color. Um, this one is from the AOA Studios from Shop Miss A. This is the Lumi Radiant Blush in the shade Rose Dawn. It is way too sparkly for me and too dark um, for my skin tone. So I am decluttering that. The next thing I have is from Bella PR Cosmetics. This is a loose blush. It's in the shade Desert Rose. I love this color. I love this blush. The only thing I don't love is that it's a loose powder blush. If it was a pressed powder blush, I would keep it. Um, but I just, I feel like I get too much payoff from this. Um, there's just too much that comes onto my brush when I try to use it. The next one I have is from Tarte. This is in the shade Peaceful. And I just feel like this color is a little too bright for me. Um, so I am decluttering it because of that. Um, for ColourPop, I have two ColourPop blushes that I'm decluttering. The first one is this one in the shade Night Bloom. It's a bright pink and I just, I don't reach for it. So I am decluttering that. The next one is the Catch My Vibe and it's almost the same. Uh, it's just too bright for me. It's too bright pink. Um, not as bright as the other one, <laughs> but still too bright. The next thing I have is some primers. So this is two eye primers. I just don't use them and there's nothing wrong with them. Like I've used them a couple of times, but I just, I don't, I don't reach for them. So there's no point in me having them if I don't use them. So this one I've opened, this one I haven't used before. So um, I'm going to give those to somebody who will use those. Also for primers, I have this Max Strobe Cream and I, I just, I don't really use a strobe cream or an illuminating cream. I have an illuminating primer and I don't really reach for that as much as I thought I would. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. For um, setting sprays, I have this Lime Life by Alcone. As you can tell um, through some of my other declutters, I've decluttered some Lime Life products. Um, I just don't enjoy them as much as I thought I would. Um, so this one is going to be decluttered. It works fine but I just don't enjoy it as much as some of my other makeup stuff. Um, also from Lime Life, I have the Translucent Setting Powder, and this is just a white powder, um, and I just, I don't reach for it. Again, I have powders that I like more than that. Um, for bronzers, I have a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This one's in the shade Sun Kiss. It's too red for me, um, so I am, that is why I'm decluttering that one. Same for this Balm Desert from the Balm. Um, it is just too red for me. And I, I really like the formula. It works really well. It's just too red for me. This one from ColourPop is Coconut Beach. And I just don't reach for it. Um, it's not a bad uh, bronzer. It's just I can't even get it to show up. So I guess it's for someone with lighter skin than I do have. But 
Oh, well. Um, the next one I have is from L'Oreal Paris. This is the Bronze Please palette from uh, in the shade La Terra. Um, it looks like this. And it has a really pretty print in it and everything, but I just, I don't reach for it again. So there's no point in me keeping it. For foundations, I have this Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. I just feel like it doesn't work too well for me. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. So I'm getting rid of that. This one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Skincare um, Foundation and in this is shade Fair Neutral. I just feel like this isn't a good skin tone match for me, so I'm decluttering that. Um, this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. Again, the, the color is not what I need, um, so I have to declutter it. Same with this one. This one is in the shade 160 Ivy O W. This is the Lancome Renegery. I don't know how to say that, um, lift makeup. And this is what it looks like. Um, again, color doesn't work for me. Um, the last foundation I have is from CoverGirl. This is the clean liquid foundation in the shade 120. Um, again, it just, it doesn't work for me and I don't like the smell of it. Um, for concealer, I have this Juvia's Place Magic, I think it's Magic Concealer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's called, but this is in the shade 22 and it's too light for me. The next concealer I have is from AOA Studios in the shade Porcelain. And again, this is too light for me. Now we're moving into highlighters and I am getting rid of my Beauty Bakery Illuminator. So I see this is just too dark for me. It's It's got a ton of glitter too. It's like really glittery. Um, so I am passing that along. Then I have this Space Case Highlighter. Um, and this is Seen From Space in 1C. And it's really creamy. I feel like it's, it's kind of like the ColourPop highlighters. It looks like this. It is, if I can get it right here, right there. There we go. <laughs> now you can see it. Um, it has a beautiful color. It's just a little too dark for me. The next one I have is from ColourPop as well. This one is in the shade Lunch Money. And I just don't feel like I reach for this one as much as I thought I would. Um, it's really pretty. Um, it's right here. You can't really see it because my lighting, like I said, in some of my previous videos. My lighting is just not good. Um, but I really like this formula, but it's just, it's not working for me. I like Flexitarian more. The next um, one I have is from Pure X Barbie. This is in Green, Dream Glow Signature Highlighter Palette. And this one has a bunch of different colors in it. It's just too dark for me. I love the packaging. I want to keep it just for the packaging, but there's no point because then I wouldn't be using it. And I want to use what's in my collection. The next thing I have is the Dose of Colors, Desi X Katie Chasing the Sun. And this is just too dark for me. Um, I quite love this color. It's beautiful and everything. It's just way too dark for me. The next thing I have is the Ofra Highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Again, this one's just too dark for me and I will be decluttering it to somebody who can use it more than I can. The next thing I have is from Milk Makeup. This is the highlighter in the shade Lit. And I just, I don't use these kinds of highlights. So I am passing that along. The next thing I have is two Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. This one is in the shade Ice Cream Bling. This one is in the shade Frostbite. And I, again, I just don't reach for liquid highlighters. Um, so I will be passing those two along. Last but not least for highlights, I have this Super Body Model from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a um, deluxe sample size. And I, again, it's supposed to be like a, a liquid highlight. Um, but I just, I, again, I don't, I don't use these kinds of things. So, um, I will be getting rid of that as well. Now, last but not least, we have eyeshadows and I'm not getting rid of too many. Um, I really like the ones that I have. However, um, I have this palette from ColourPop 
Um, it's not called anything, but it's got some single shadows in there and I want to get rid of everything but this color right here. So everything in here I don't like besides this color right here. Um, so I'm getting rid of all that. Next, I have this Ofer palette. This is Secret Garden. It's got some highlights, blush, um, and then eyeshadows in here. And I just, I, I don't feel like reaching for it. It's got Blissful um, as the highlight. And I mean, these are gorgeous colors and everything. I just, I don't, I'm not gonna reach for it. The next thing I have is the Black Friday palette. Um, and I don't ever wear these kinds of shades. So I am going to get rid of this palette. So there's that. Next, I have this iMagic Professionals Cosmetics palette. It's called Baby Cute Eyeshadow Palette, maybe. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks like anime on there. And then this is the colors. I have not reached for it since I received it. Um, there are some pretty colors in there, but I just, I don't find myself reaching for it. So um, I haven't even swatched it. So that's like a new palette. The next palette I have is still in the box because I love the box itself. This is the Pure X Barbie. Um, it is gorgeous. This is the signature 12 piece palette. Um, and it looks like this. I just don't feel inspired by it. It just, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't get into these colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this palette. Next, I have this palette from, I don't know, Color Design. I don't know what it's from. It just says some weird stuff on the back. It looks like that. And it's got some pretty colors in there. Uh, I just, I don't feel inspired by it, so I'm passing that along. Then I have this Mayel um, Quartz um, eyeshadow. This is like an eyeshadow single, and I just, I don't, I don't like the color. The next thing I have is the LA Girl Nudes eyeshadow collection and I am passing this along. Um, there's too many um, shimmers in there for me to get um, what I want out of a palette. So I need more mattes. I, I want a balance of mattes and shimmer. Like I need both in order to create my looks. I like, I like both to create my looks. Next, I have this Color Workshop Nude Palette, and it looks like this. And it's just, again, there's way too many shimmers in there. I'm not gonna use it, so I wanna pass it along to somebody who will. Okay, so I don't think that this video is quite as long as I thought it would be, but um, I am quite happy with how it turned out. Um, I feel like my co collection is a little more curated to what I want. Um, I probably will do a declutter in maybe six or seven months, depending on how I'm feeling about my collection again, and um, we'll go from there. So I hope you make sure you subscribe before you leave, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know I enjoyed filming it. I know it was a different kind of setup. I usually like have everything on the floor, and I go through it, and you see me make my decisions and everything, but I wanted to do it this way because I just wanted to get it all out of my collection. <laughs> so sorry, but I hope you enjoyed watching this and remember to stay beautiful.